Hello, I'm Major General Greg Porter, the Adjutant General for the Wyoming National Guard. Amid the friction and stress caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, this week has again brought attention to more than 30,000 National Guard members from across the nation who have been called upon to assist state and local law enforcement in support of civil unrest operations. Currently, the Wyoming National Guard has not been called upon to assist in these efforts. But in the event we are, I'd like you to consider a few things. From the very first Minutemen who mustered in the early years of our country, to those who serve today, the National Guard was built on the foundation of upholding the United States Constitution and protecting the communities in which we live and serve. Our fundamental duty, what we each swore when we took the oath, is to protect the people's rights, rights guaranteed by the U.S. Constitution and the Wyoming Constitution, that all members of the human race are equal, that we are able to assemble freely, and that we may speak our minds. I talk with you all the time about Wyoming Guardsmen serving as a sword and shield for our state and nation. Ensuring the peaceful ability of our citizens to come together and make their voices heard is the epitome of what we do as the shield. We must guarantee our citizens this ability. Citizens cannot be afraid to assemble. It is our sacred duty to protect their right to do so. A more difficult mission I cannot imagine. But as members of the National Guard, our primary role is to protect our citizens. Our intent is not to control or prevent protesting, but to ensure safety amongst our citizens and protect their constitutional rights. I am proud to be a citizen of the Equality State, where we stand for the values of freedom, equality, and justice for all. Thank you for your continued support and serving as our sword and shield.